I'm Travis Burnett, Practical Farm Research Agronomist with Bex Hybrids. Welcome to another PFR report. With me today is Stephanie Smith with 360 Yield Center. We are out testing the 360 bullet point. And uh, Stephanie, can you kind of tell us what makes the 360 bullet point different than a you know traditional ripper point and uh, take us through some of the features of that point? Sure. So at 360 Yield Center, uh, we really wanted to focus on fully shattering our soil profile. So when we took a look at some of the other uh, ripper points on the market, we really found that we were causing a washboard in between our shanks. When we have that washboard, when we have that mounding of soil, you know, our roots aren't able to mine the soil for all the nutrients available. And when it comes to getting water off of our fields, you know, we didn't want ponding water. You know, when we have water sitting there, we lose nitrogen, and we really wanted to make sure we shattered that full soil profile. So at 360 Yield Center, we came up with the 360 Bullet. It's a 14 inch ripper point that truly lifts and shatters soil to make sure that we're not having any density layer changes across that gradient. So I just wanted to point out a few differences between 360 Bullet uh, versus some other ripper points that might be out there. So the first thing that makes this truly unique is the location of the wings. Here you can see that our wings on this ripper point are towards the front. Uh, conversely, other ripper points are towards the back. What this allows us to do in that soil profile is truly make that lift and shatter. Back here, these, these wings are just kind of long for the ride. Here, the majority of the work being done underground is done by these wings. Second thing I wanted to point out is the pitch and angle of how this point is designed. The pitch and the angle create less drag. Now, when we think about horsepower, yes, we're pulling a 14 inch point through that ground, so it's gonna take a lot more horsepower. But based on the angle and the pitch of the front of the point and the wings, we're lessening the amount of drag when it comes to horsepower and fuel concerns. The other thing to point out, which is difficult to see here on the tailgate, is how this ripper point attaches to the shank. So the angle that this hits the ground is truly trying to eliminate ground contact with our point. The more contact a ripper point has in our soil profile, the more soil smear you'll see. We can all think back to our plows and our plow smear pan. Here, since we are just hitting the bottom of our soil profile with the tip of the shank and the sides of the wings, we're trying to eliminate surface contact with that ripper point. So today we're out here in the PFR plot and we're comparing our tiger points to the bullet points that we are doing our side by side with and we're also doing the same thing out in our production fields. So we were comparing our differences with a couple passes of one and then we would switch to the other points to compare that. And the reason that we started looking at a ripper originally was to really get down deep and shatter that plow pan that's been created by our intensive tillage program that we have to use to produce the seed. So when we were looking at the two, we would dig a large hole and we saw how much shattering there was, you know, larger chunks and then down deeper how that plow pan was separated and lifted apart. And so when we looked at the tiger points, there was some, but they were not quite as far out and there was a lot of solid ground in between, whereas with the bullet points, that mound in between really decreased and you had a lot more shattering going on and a lot more lifting. And so in our fields, that's kind of what we are more looking for, and that's the goal of comparing the two. So I'm going to toss it over to Stephanie, and we're uh, going to compare these two. Yeah, great points, Emily. The one thing I really wanted to highlight is what does the soil aggregate look like once that ripper point goes through our field? So over here on the 360 bullet side, you know, what that ripper point is designed to do is to more lift and shatter the soil. So when we look at that soil aggregate, we have larger soil gradient or aggregates down in that soil profile. When we take a look at the case points over here, we can see that that aggregate is a little bit more broken up, okay? Those small soil particles, you know, can actually create some compaction issues as we proceed through the next year if we do get large rainfalls right after planting. So here, you know, we're better able to mine that soil, get that full root system developed, and truly mining the soil for, for nutrients and water.